Hi, I'm Alex from HD Labels, and this is a full demonstration of the Affinia L901 Plus color label printer. So what is the Affinia L901 Plus? So this is an industrial, high speed, full color label printer. So it can either print on continuous rolls, pre-die cut labels, or labels with a black registration mark. So it has a max um, material width of 220 millimeters wide, but a print width of 216 mil wide. So the print technology it uses is Memjet, so that's why it's high speed, there's no print heads moving left or right. Another name for Memjet technology is waterfall technology because the material or the print just spools out the front of the printer. So we've got five ink cartridges, so we have two black, cyan, yellow and magenta. So each cartridge holds 250 mil of ink. Um, so they're bulk inks. The machine is really efficient in how it uses ink as well. So there's no waste ink tank or anything like that. It doesn't purge the print head by just squirting loads of ink through the head. Um, it recycles its ink. So it's kind of cycling ink all the time, but ink goes in the head one side and out the other and into a buffer box, which is then later used for printing. So it's as efficient a printer as I've seen. So the printer comes in three parts. You have the unwinder, the printer itself, and the rewinder. So obviously your blank material goes on the left, gets printed, ends up on the right. So this printer, the reason they're separate really is this printer can be used in other machinery. So for example, the Affinia um, DLP 2200, that's a full digital label press. It is a print, cut, strip, laminate, you know, a, a big system. This engine is used in that. So it is a sort of transferable printer. Um, but as we're using it, it's purely as a print only station. Um, people here say either use this with a die cut label or like we do in house, we pair this with Infinia, um, the Affinia DLF 220S or the 220L. So we print on here and then we cut and finish somewhere else. Right, so let's get the L901 threaded up. So we've got a large roll of continuous material. This is 220 wide gloss polypropylene. So the, you'll, you'll notice the unwinder and the rewinder are color coded so you shouldn't mix them up. These basically slot off, so this is your spindle, and there is a core at the end, which if we loosen, will allow us to remove the guide. So, we place our material onto the roll, or onto the core, and then tighten it up. The edges of each side are slightly beveled, so they can only go in one way, and it basically drops into the unwinder. So once your material is in the unwinder, so with the unwinder off and the rewinder off to start, so we can thread our material under the dancer arm. There's a, a adjustable guide on both the input and the output with a thumb screw. So the back guides are fixed, so you've got straight edge through the printer, but we can loosen off the guide on the input and the output to just allow easier access for the material. So we feed our material up to the entrance of the printer and then down the clamp, move our guide into position, and then turn on the unwinder. So at this point now, we don't really need to worry about the unwinder. So on the machine itself, we can choose menu, and then paper path, and if we want, we can just slowly feed some material into the machine. So you will see this working its way through the machine. What we're looking to do is get some material out the other side. So the material has come through the other side of the printer, so we can either stop this, and then do a test print from here, or if we want, we can actually, so if it's gonna go into a finisher, you want a little bit of even unprinted waste on the end of the roll. So we could thread this all the way up to the rewinder and go from there. But what we're gonna do is get it printing and see what it looks like. We're printing from Illustrator here, and as we're using a finisher, we've got the artwork that we wish to print and then the cut lines around it. So this ideally is what we're looking to print to the machine. So we know that this is 216 wide by 100 mil in height. So what we need to do is if we, file print is correct, so you will see that our page size is incorrect, it's actually 216 by 141. So what we need to do is to create our page size in the driver. So in the L901 driver, we're able to choose our media type, our print quality. So normal is at 12 inches per second, that's 1600 by 800 dpi. Whereas best is which what we only print at. It does slow the print down to six inches per second, which is still really fast, but that's actually 1600 by 1600 DPI. So we only really print in that. So if I'm creating a custom size now, the most I can actually ask it to be is 216, as that's the max width of the print head, and then I want 100 
wide. So we'll call this 216 by 100 millimeters. So if I save that, our the last thing we can check, so our material is set to continuous. And if we were printing die cuts, we've got print adjustment here, but as we're on continuous, we don't really need to worry about that. So we say okay and print. And then if I refresh Illustrator, that looks more like what we need. So first thing to do, if we print five of these, let's see what they look like. So it's just doing a pre-job service, priming the head ready to print. And away we go. And now we can check our print before we thread it all up, make sure we're happy. Great, so that looks good. So we'll print a few more, get it paused, and then hook it up to the rewinder. So if we pause our print, so the machine will stop. So what we need to do is to get a core on the rewinder and get it hooked up. So first of all, I need a blank core. There we go. Your core needs to be no wider than the material. It can be narrower, but if it's wider than the material, the material will weave as it prints because there's no, it doesn't really touch the guides. And therefore you'll have a lot of pain in sorting it out ready for your rewinder or it potentially, worst case, could move as it's going through the printer and then your print will be out of position. So, we get our core. And then let's see if we've got enough material to thread through. So on the rewinder, there is a thread path. So it is important you make sure you put your material through the rewinder correctly. So, We'll go under the first roll. It's basically over, under, over, under throughout the machine. So, so under the first roll, over, under, over, under, and then we'll just make sure we take up the tension and that the material looks straight. And up to the main core. So just happy it's all lined up straight. And then with some tape, so I've got a little tape dispenser here. I'm just going to attach this to the core. We attach our last piece of tape to the core. So I could do with moving the guide in slightly now, and I'm just going to tighten this up to finish. So just making sure the core doesn't move at all on the. So if I wind that on, take up the slack. So that looks good. So if I turn the rewinder on, it's now ready to go. So if I unpause the machine, hit resume. So again, just because it's in a pause state, it's just doing a pre-prime of the printhead. And away we go. So we've got a count of the pages, it tells exactly what we're doing, and it's as easy as that. So for more information, maybe a full demonstration, or to see your artwork printing on the L901, please feel free to give us a call at HD Labels. Thanks for watching.